I remember one time during my second MV days, I'm now old. <laughs> Obviously, I have a lot of work to do. I'm scared for my life. Extremely emotional. <laughs> Hey Sunshines, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you're highly welcome. My name is Zara. I'm a medical student living, breathing, existing, studying in Nigeria, West Africa. Please feel free to click the subscribe button and join the Sunshine family. In today's video, um, I'm going to be telling you guys what medical school has done to me. With no further ado, let's just jump into the video. The first thing I'll start with medical school made me a late nighter. In my teenage years, Ooh, ooh, this is what I just did there in my teenage years. Like, I'm now old. <laughs> Don't mind me. In secondary school, in my teenage years, I was never the one of those people who would go to bed early. No, it's around 11, 12. Honestly, what was I doing up? I cannot remember. But when I came into medical school, um, after during second MB and after second MB to be precise, I used to sleep around two, three, so next day, four, five. Um, one I can remember, one of the ones I can remember recently is my fourth year, which I'm still in. <laughs> Normally my group discussion is at night because from morning till evening, like we're occupied, classes start by 8.30 and we're done by 6.00 depending if you have practicals or not so the best time to have start resting eating organizing your life for the next day the best time to have discussions will be at night so like 10 11 12 is my discussion time and i'm coming back to my room around two three one day four i was like what like literally 4 a.m in the morning who walks around the hostel in four by 4 a.m. in the morning? This girl. <laughs> so med school made me an all-nighter and it just med school messed with my sleep schedule. Um, I'm one of those people that believe that you should have eight hours of complete uninterrupted sleep. And I'm waking up exactly eight hours after I finish, like I'm I finish resting. Exactly eight hours for some weird reason. Like exactly eight hours after I finish resting. So it was it was not really a struggle to sleep late but it was a struggle to wake up early because now i have lectures by 8 30 and i'm supposed to be in class by i like sitting in the front so i'm supposed to be in class by latest 7 30 7 45 okay because i want to sit in front and i sleep late because obviously i have a lot of work to do like i have to read i just have to organize my life and when I come back from class, I am like I'm ready to do any organizing by let's say 8 o'clock in the evening, like 8, 8, 8 p.m. That's when I'm ready. So by 8 p.m., I'm probably reading. Then my group discussion, my group is not every day, so like three times in a week. Group discussion, then I'm going back to bed. So I'm going back to bed as late as 2, 3 sometimes, sometimes 4, sometimes even 5 actually. And I'm supposed to wake up around 6, 6, 30, 7. God bless my roommate, honestly, because sometimes she's just the angel that comes to my rescue and she just wakes me up in the morning. But med school messed with my sleep schedule so much that as I'm here having so much sleep, I'm scared for my life because I don't know how it's going to be when we resume. Um, I don't know if lectures are going to start by 6 a.m. It's a possibility, my dear. Anything that is being done to <laughs> don't mind me but now i still sleep late but when i sleep late i sleep for my eight complete hours in a day you understand what i mean so i'm waking up before if i sleep by 2 3 a.m i'm waking up like give or take by nine i should be awake whatever it is by nine i should be awake now but when school resumes <laughs> i'm going to go back to our schedule of sleeping late and waking up early. Med school made me love coffee. Yes, my second MB days. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Caffeine. Hey. What did I not do? And I know a few people. I know a few people did this. If you did this, comment down below. If you have done this before in medical school, comment down below. Please, all these things I'm about to say, nobody should try it at home. Because whatever happens to you is your cup of brown sugar, honestly. So during my second MB days, 
you know the whole ginger and oh i have to wake up early i have to read i have to do this i have to do that i have to stay awake throughout the night i started coffee i started energy drink does coke consuming a lot i usually go to spa just to get a pack of energy drink like that that's the only reason why i'm going to go to the shopping mall to go and get energy drink or coffee so i mixed energy drink and coffee energy drink and coke coffee and coke coffee and energy drink coke and coffee energy drink and coffee to show the only thing i did do is i didn't mix everything together that's the only thing i didn't try if i tried that my head would have knocked <laughs> and i don't know where i would be right now but i just tried all those things i just felt, felt like it's just god that was keeping me honestly <laughs> it's just god but there was just so much caffeine that i was consuming and i will not sleep five o'clock i've not slept i'll try and manage to close my eyes when i open my eyes the next day or the later that day my eyes are going to feel so heavy because of how much caffeine i have consumed but now the way i consume coffee is slightly different the normal nigerian that does not know how to consume coffee we're gonna buy that nescaf you know that slim nescaf we'll buy it pour it inside hot you know hot water in a cup person will not put sugar will turn it and say well, i want to stay awake Ooh. i did that thing in my first year and it did not just make sense to me why would i be suffering myself like this because i'm taking coffee i just prefer to take that thing in one and i'll still add sugar but my dear there are better ways to make this chicken i'm going to catch it and save it for december and kill for christmas and kill it i've learned how to make coffee the right way and this is the way i'm going to tell you coffee is it depends on what you want to do honestly there's a percentage of everything so you have coffee you have creamer or milk and you have sugar so um if you're brewing your coffee yourself like if you're making your coffee if you're making your coffee yourself with your a coffee maker or something you can do 30 percent coffee 50% or 60% milk or creamer and 10 to 20% sugar. But your coffee should not be higher than your creamer, except it's your preference. You want a very strong coffee. Then you can now do 50% coffee, um, 30% creamer or 40% creamer, then 10% or 20% sugar. Please don't suffer yourself by taking that next cuff and pouring it inside and turning it and say oh my god i must i must i must beat you're just suffering yourself honestly the what the method i just told you now will still work you still have eno enough caffeine in your system to let you do whatever it is you want to do just that now you can go to bed when you decide that you want to go to bed and not have eye bags and very heavy eyes when you wake up in the morning med school messed me up emotionally <laughs> no jokes guys med school messed me up emotionally med school made me extremely emotional especially during my second mb day um on a normal day i'm a cry baby let me know like i'm a cry baby on a normal day i'm very emotional on a normal day but most of the times all of the times actually i don't let people see me in my weakest moments i remember one time during my second mb days I had gone to the library that morning around let's say 9 10 ish um, I came back by 4 so I had like 6 hours of productive reading yeah 6 hours each of productive reading I came back by 4 um, I got lunch from the cafeteria because around that time I was not cooking I, I, I had no strength to cook honestly it was like prepare for this exam it was eat or nothing so um after eating i slept for a bit around seven ish i, I started to start reading again ah wow for no from nowhere for no reason i started crying hey 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 i started crying ask me why i was crying i honestly don't know 
I honestly don't know why I was crying. I picked up my phone, I called my CMD man, CMD man, CMD is Christian Medical and Dental Association. I called my mentor. Um, it's a, it's like a, I don't know what to call it, a program in CMD called Mentor Mentee, whereby you get a mentor when you're in um, second year. Your mentor is usually two years ahead of you. So I called my mentor and I was telling her, I was just crying to her. In fact, I was not even telling her anything. I was just crying. And she was like, why am I crying? What's the problem? That didn't I read? I was like, I read. I went to the library. Why are you crying? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying. She, she calmed me down. She told me to calm down. I should take a break. I should go and get ice cream and eat. You know, rest for the night. Don't read. I called another. I called two people that night. I called another person um, who was a doctor. At grad. They were a senior friend. I called him. I was like, I was like, why are you crying? Like, don't worry, you'll be fine last last year. <laughs> you'll be fine. And these times were actually trying times because these were times where your mental health would be at risk because you'd be tired, you'd be fatigued mentally, physically, socially. You would just be tired of everything, honestly, and you would almost give up. I know someone that actually left medicine to another department just because she did not have strength honestly she did not just have the strength for the stress so that is something that you need to realize for yourself and yeah meds could make me emotional it messed up with my emotional health but i got better you know i got better after the entire second mb you know when you conquer that journey when you pass that stage it now becomes part of your story and um, a way for you to also lend a helping hand to others so guys this is the end of this video there are obviously more things that med school taught me but these were the three things that i was pondering wondering on <laughs> so guys this is the end of the video i hope this video was helpful to you and somewhat relatable if you're a medical student don't forget to click the subscribe button give you a thumbs up and comment down below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye